Hi, hello. Good evening. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Janet. Hi, Victor. Good evening. Okay, let's see. My name is Carolina Rosales. I'm going to be your teacher for the following weeks. And let's see. Everybody's entering. And uh, there's someone else trying to get into the classroom as well. Let me see. She got everything. I don't know if I can send it. All right. Okay, everybody. Great. Let's turn on the cameras for a while. Mine is a little bit dark. Let me see if I can get a lamp in this one. Okay. So uh, we have Janet, uh, Victoria, Jenny, Erica, and sorry, let me see if I can see all of you. And Victor. All right. Great. Well, nice meeting you. How was your day? Erica, how was your day? Good. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Do you work or do you study? Jenny? Study. Study only. <laughs> Great. Excellent. What about you, Janet? How was your day? Uh, uh, so, so. So, so. I have, mm -hmm. I have many work today. Too much work? Yes. Me too. Mondays, right? <laughs> yeah, Mondays. Okay. What do you do? What's your occupation? Uh, actually, I'm working. I'm a secretary in a firm law. Great. How long have you worked? How much time have you worked for that company? Um, uh, I have um, three years in this company, but I have uh, eight years. Uh, working like uh, um, secretary for lawyers. Great, good experience. And I like the example. We're going to work on that example today. It's going to be a good opening. All right, let's okay. see. We have Sylvia. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Good, how was your day? I'm um, pretty good. Pretty good. What do you do? What's your occupation? Sorry, repeat, please. Of course. What do you do? What What is your occupation? I am study. Okay, at university? Or just this class? Yes, university. Ah, and what's the career university. that you're studying? Yo estudio ontología. Ontology. Great. What year Ontolo are you? What year are, are you at? Um, two years. Mm, okay, huh? So, you're not practicing yet, only study. Only study. Great, okay, great. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to give a little time for the rest to join the class. And I want to show you the presentation. Okay, how many, uh, for how many of you is the first class? Or for how many of you have been in this group for uh, a long time? Have you been in this class before? ¿Han estado en esta clase antes? Yes. Okay, so you know each other. Sí. Mm -hmm. Yes, Victor? Yo no. Sí. Yes, for day. <laughs> okay, good. Um, I like to tell you something that I like to do. Virtual classes, I love them because you have all your resources on hand. If you don't understand anything, you can Google it and that's good. But also, I would like you to take some notes, okay? Because that's going to help you to remember. So be sure that for every class, you have a notebook with you, okay? And sometimes I'm going to ask you for a picture of what you work handwritten, okay? Okay, let's, let me show you the presentation that is not letting me open. I don't know why. Just give me one sec. Okay, 
Okay, today we're going to study a topic that is very important. Today we're going to study transportation. Okay, so do me a favor. Can you type in the chat how many means of transportation you know? Transportation, vocabulary that you know about transportation. Type in the chat, everybody. Hola, buenas noches. Good evening, how are you? Eh, disculpe, yo quería hacer una pregunta. Go ahead. Eh, resulta de que a mí nunca me llegó eh, un link donde tendría que estar para la clase de ahora. Entonces un compañero del mm -hmm. módulo pasado mm -hmm. me mandó es, el chat de WhatsApp para que yo pudiera ingresar. Y todos los demás compañeros me ayudaron para que yo pudiera estar ahora aquí en la clase. Okay. Pero... Yo no sé en cuál pertenezco yo. Uh, eh, ¿Recuerden cuál estaba el anterior? ¿Uno, dos o tres? Sí, yo estaba en el uno. Ah, ok, so you're here. En el dos. Está bien, entonces. Ok. Ahora, ¿tiene ya todas la, las credenciales y todo? ¿Ahorita sí se lo pasaron? Sí, ahorita sí me han pasado. Ok, sí, lo del... ah, aquí estoy viendo, sí. Janet te mandó ya todos los links. Sí. Ok, great. So, Michelle, right? Sí. Ok, don't worry, this is the group. <laughs> Happen, sorry, yeah, the first day is always an issue. Ok. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Disculpe, eh, pasó igual que mi compañera, fíjese que yo igual no, no, no me cayó así, digamos, el correo de, de, de todo esto, sino que solo fue como en WhatsApp y igual la misma situación de ella. No sé si podríamos resolver eso, por favor. Claro que sí, claro que sí. Yo voy a tomar nota en este momento de usted de los nombres para que para que confirmemos, porque according to according a lo que yo tengo, estamos bien en el módulo 2, pero igual podría haber algún en alguna situación en la cual no lo tengamos claro. Solo un segundito. Can you hand me the notebook and the pen? Exactly. Stand up and, okay. My goodness. The helper is not helping. <laughs> okay. Let me just. Okay, so is Michelle, what's your last name, Michelle? Michelle? Hola. Yeah, your, your last name. Uh, eh, Carranza López. Carranza. And who was the other person with the problem? Es que yo no sé si tendría que estar en el segundo principiante uno, dos, tres o cuatro. Yeah, okay. Cuatro. With the number, okay. According to my list, we are okay. Había alguien más con la misma situación, ¿verdad? Nadie más? ¿Todos estamos bien? Ok, good. Ok, so I can see. Drive my car, says Janet. Uh, take the bus. I take the bus, very good. Janet said, drive my car, walk, take the bus, take the subway. Great. The bike, ride the bike. Ride a motorcycle, excellent. I like it because you're using all the verbs, that's true. Uh, we use different verbs for transportation. Drive car, walk. Take the bus, take the subway or the train, and ride a bike or a motorcycle. Good one. All right, let me show you my screen. We're going to have the, the beginning of the presentation, just to be sure. Okay, for the ones that are joining the class, my name is Carolina, and I'm going to be at any moment that you have any question in the WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Okay, can you see my screen? Ve mi pantalla? Sí. Sí. Yes. Sí. Thank you. Sí. Yes. Okay. Now, friendly reminder, uh, review your credentials and complete the activities in the following sí. weeks. Yeah? Revisen, así como Michelle tu, tuvo problemas ahorita, yo sí necesito que revisen sus credenciales eh, lo antes posible. 
que estar seguro que pueden entrar a la aplicación y pueden seguir todas las actividades, ¿verdad? Right? Y como les decía al principio, mi tip en mi clase es que tengan su cuaderno a mano, o yo le llamo journal, porque no es un cuaderno solo para tomar notas, sino que pueden anotar ahí tips, crear sus propias eh, fórmulas, eh, hacer como un mind map, un mapa mental de cómo se juega con algunas figuras gramaticales y para qué sirven algunas expresiones. Pueden incluso dibujar si necesitan dibujar para que la idea les quede clara. Si necesitan hacer translations, las pueden hacer ahí, ¿verdad? Porque sí necesito que, ahorita que tenemos clases virtuales, eh, yo sé que para muchos es fácil solo googlear, copy paste, and that's it. Pero la verdad es que para poder asimilar el idioma, necesitamos entenderlo culturalmente, asimilarlo de todas las formas posibles. Y ahorita virtualmente a veces es difícil porque no podemos hacer las cosas con mucho movimiento. Nos sentimos como... como eh, eh, como, como free, eh, frozen entre la cámara. Entonces, el cuadernito sí nos va a ayudar. Así que, de cuando en cuando les voy a pedir screenshot de lo que hemos trabajado eh, en el cuaderno. ¿Ok? Eso es nada más como una dinámica. All right. Now, another thing. Today's class. Uh, this is the objective for the class. Uh, we're going to learn uh, vocabulary to talk about transportation, and you know some, right? Uh, additional, we will practice the conversation that illustrates the topic. I have a question. How many of you have entered the platform? ¿Cuántos de ustedes ya entraron en la plataforma y ya empezaron la lección? Type in the chat, yes, if you have. Yo entré, pero solo lo estuve chequeando. Mm -hmm. No. No he iniciado todavía con Problem. ejercicio. Okay. Yes, great. Jenny did, Ellie did, and Josephine did. Great. Yo ya empecé. You started. Great. Good. La idea es ir llevando. Prácticamente las lecciones que vemos ahí, en una noche vamos a estar cubriendo aproximadamente dos temitas por noche, porque están relacionados. ¿Ok? So, si podemos ir avanzando en ese ritmo, perfecto. Acuérdense que tenemos como un tiempo y un... Um, un, eh, una cantidad de material y de horas a cubrir y eso nos va a ir ayudando. Entre más avancemos en lo sencillo, mejor porque ya después nos vamos quedando más tiempo con los temas como más áridos, que siempre, siempre nos detenemos un poquito más. All right. So, let's see. Now, today's lesson, the first part. How do you get to work? So, this is basically... What is your mean of transportation? Okay, I like to use that word. Means of transportation. I type in the chat, means of transportation. Okay, that is like media. So, um, let's see, let me check the chat. Um, Idalma. How do you get to work? In my car. Your car? Yes. You drive a car, great. Salvador, how do you get to work? Salvador, are you there? Yes. Yes, how do you get to work? In, sorry, teacher, no le puedo contestar. Voy a ser honesto. What is the word that comes to your mind? ¿Qué palabra le viene? Eh, me voy en, en, el, en el vehículo de un compañero. Ah, ok. So, a friend gives me a ride. A friend gives me a ride. Repeat. A friend... My friend gives me gives me a ride. A ride. All right, yes. That's good. So I'm typing in the chat the phrase so you can take note of that, of that if you need it. A friend gives me a ride. Good. Okay, that's nice. Oh, that's good. Do you pay for the gas, Salvador? Or it's for free? Paga por la gasolina o es de gratis? Mm, pago. Mm. Okay, 
okay, not that good, but <laughs> still, it's a good help. <laughs> okay, good one. All right, all right, let's see. Now, here are some expressions. The one that Salvador says is very important and we don't have it, it's a good one. What happens when someone gives me a ride? Okay, here we have some possible answers. Let's repeat, I drive to work, repeat. I drive I to work. Excellent, good. Open your I microphones, can. feel free to, to speak and, and shout. It doesn't matter if you shout. Si grita no importa, ahorita si de dejarlo ir. Okay, I walk to work. I walk to, to work. work. Good. Walk. 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 I walk to walk. work. Walk. Good. Work. Pay attention on this one because this one gives us a problem in the pronunciation. When we talk about walking, we don't give the L, okay? Walk. I walk. walk. Good. To work. I walk. I walk. To work. To work. Excellent. I walk. I walk to work. To work. work. I walk I to walk work. To work. Excellent. Okay. I and then go, go ahead. And then we have some other examples. I ride a motorcycle to work. Repeat. I ride a motorcycle to work. Excellent. I take a taxi to work. I take a taxi to work. I take a cab to work. I take a cab to work. Good. Taxi and cab is the same. Normally, I use taxi in California most of the time, and I use cab in New York, but it doesn't matter, okay? Cab or taxi is the same. Cab is taxi. Okay, in the column three, we have more examples. Let's repeat. I take the bus to work. I take I the bus, bus, to, bus work. to work. Great. I take the subway to work. I take the train to work. I I ride a bike to work. I ride a bike to work. Okay, so looking at my screen, I need you to type in the chat. How do you get to work? I need your answer. Realistic answer, okay? The real. Normal situation, because for some of us, we work at home. Okay, so before pandemic, what was your normal activity? Drive to work, walk to work, take the bus. I take the bus, I take the citrams, I ride a bike. What is your answer? I take the bus. Oh, it took I an took Uber. My, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I take my, my car. You drive a car? Uh -huh. I drive I, my car. Good, I drive my car or I drive to work. Good one. Okay, I need more answers, verbally or in the chat. I need everybody answering your real answer. How do you get to work? I only have uh, Jenny and Janet. I drive to work, good. More people, I need answers. How do you get to work? Contesten en el chat o eh, de manera oral su respuesta. How do you get to work? Everybody typing. I take the bus, good. I drive to work, great. I ride a motorcycle to work, good. Jennifer, I have a question. Do you ride the motorcycle or somebody else, your brother, boyfriend, or husband? It's mine. Okay. You're, so you ride the motorcycle. That's good. Excellent. Yeah. I drive my car or you drive to work. What's that, William? I have to answer here. Are you asking me a question, William? What happened, teacher? Yeah, if you're asking me a question, because I can read, I drive my car or you drive to work. Okay, o sea, manejo mi carro o manejo al, o manejo para el trabajo. Ah, o sea, son yeah. dos, dos. Las dos respuestas son válidas, good. Ah, sí, yeah, sí, I understand. Sí. Mm -hmm. Hi, Oscar, good evening. 
Welcome. Okay, great. Now let's see. We had a conversation in the application. I, I'm sorry, it's kind of blurry in here, but we're going to listen this conversation, okay? In the, uh, in the platform, you're going to have the time for listening and practicing. When you see this conversation, I need you to practice. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Good answer. Okay, now, before listening, I want us to pay attention on this verb, get. Okay, this is the expression, okay? No quiero que estén como, ay, que quiso decir con el get, como se traduce, porque no, porque no es go, oh, forget about it. Get is the expression when you take some transportation and you go from one place to another, okay? Basically is como llegar, o como llegas. Normalmente, quizás nos vamos a confundir con que, que calle tomo. Pero tenemos que pensar que lo que nos están diciendo es llegar puntualmente al destino, no el camino. Entonces, cuando me preguntan, how do you get to work? Es el medio de transporte que uso, no el camino. ¿Okay? Expresiones que vamos a escuchar con get y este, y este concepto de llegar es get to work, how do you get to work, and get home. Por ejemplo, si ya vine a casa, digo, I got home. Ya llegué a casa. Es como un llegar. Entonces, con get vamos a tener muchas sorpresas porque tiene muchos significados. Y en este momento, con medio de transporte, means of transportation es llegar. Ok. So, here we have more vocabulary. Ok. Let's see. Let me move a little bit up here. We have some vocabulary. We're going to repeat. Truck. Repeat. Truck. Van. 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 Limousine. Limousine. Airplane. 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 Helicopter. Helicopter. Boat. 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 Lorry. 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 Ship. 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 Good. Okay. Truck. What do you mean in literature? Ah, it's basically, do you see this trailer here? Lowry. Uh -huh. What do you mean? It's this one. Do you see the trailer here? The trailer? Oh, okay. It's the same. We have different words for basically the same kind of car. We can, uh, to this trailer, we can say trailer. You can yeah. say truck. And you can say lorry. And chip. What uh, is the name chip? Remember Titanic? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that is a, a ship. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> good one. All right, and I need you to use this one because we use this one all the time, the van. The van is this one. What we yes. call here in El Salvador microbus is van, okay? I'm telling you this mm -hmm, because when we got when we take a bus in El Salvador, we have also the microbus, and that's okay because we live in El Salvador, and we can mix this vocabulary like Spanish. But an American person is going to have a microbus. What is that? It's a van. Okay. So if you need to translate that, I don't take a bus to work. I take a microbus, and someone asks, "What is that?" It's a van. Okay, van is the microbus. Okay, so how many of you take a van to work? A microbus. Type in the chat. I take a van. No one? Everybody has a car, that's nice. <laughs> I don't understand the chair. Yeah. ¿Cuántos toman microbus? No bus. Oh. And they take a van. How many of you take a van? La ruta la van a poner. Yeah, the 42, <laughs> the 52, the 7A. Sometimes I take a van to work. It's faster. I prefer the vans. Okay, now let's continue a little bit. Okay, we have an audio. Let me see if I can take it from here. And let me see if I can share because in some cases it's, I need some extra thing. Oh, what happened? 
no, no. Let's see if I can take the audio from here. It doesn't let me, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I got it. It's because it's a presentation. When it's a presentation, it's not possible. No problem. Problem. Okay. Don't worry. The same conversation is in the platform. It's the one that I show you, but I really wanted you to listen because I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to look for it. Because it's really important to listen because right now we're going to give opinions about the transportation, okay? Now, I want you to type in the chat, what do you prefer? A taxi or Uber? What do you like the most? Excuse me, teacher. What's your name? My name is Carolina. Okay. Nice to meet you, teacher Carolina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Type in the chat, what do you prefer? A taxi or an Uber? Don't tell me why yet. Just tell me what do you prefer, taxi or Uber? Uber, Uber, Uber. I prefer, something is missing. I prefer an Uber. Taxi, okay, prefer to take a cab, good. Okay, now, the ones that wrote Uber, what do you like about the Uber? You can write an adjective, if it's safe, if it's cheap. Why do you like Uber? Safer, good one. It's expensive, okay. But if you need to take a taxi, Oscar, uh, do you prefer ta a regular taxi, an Uber, or in drive, or in driver? I don't know what is the name of the other one. Oscar, if you have the opportunity to take a taxi, what do you prefer, a taxi or an Uber? I prefer, um, I usually ride a motorcycle to work. Mm -hmm. But if you have an emergency and you need to take a taxi or an Uber, what do you prefer? Um, taxi. I prefer taxi. Taxi. Sure. Okay, great. Why? Because I don't... It, it's more faster oh. to take. It's faster? Yeah. Okay, good. Ah, uh, yes, I understand your point. I got it. Yeah, you're right. The taxi driver knows better. The Uber yeah. does say no, okay? It's one kilometer and they don't know. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I get it. Here in my downtown is motor taxi. Oh, where do you live? Metatán, Santa Ana. Okay, yes, you use a uh, motor taxi, motor cab, actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Excellent, okay. Let's see, Vanessa says it's safe and accessible. Uh, what is safe and accessible, the taxi or the Uber? Sorry, Vanessa? <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa, can you hear me? Yeah, 
what is safer, you said, is the taxi or the Uber? Uber. Okay, good one, okay. Let me see if I can have the, uh, no, I can download it. Okay, don't worry. With the conversation, what we're going to listen in the platform, it's that they're talking about the means of transportation and they give the opinion like you're doing right now. So I want you to give your opinion about the following topics. Okay. Let me show you the screen. And I want you to take turns answering this question. Okay, here we talked about the Uber a taxi uh, a few minutes ago. Okay, I have a question number two here. Um, let me see. Hmm. Idalma, can you hear me? Idalma? Hi. 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 Can you read the question number two, please? Do you ever take Sistan? Okay, yes. So, what's your opinion about Juicy Trumps? Do you take it? And if you take it, what's your opinion? If you want, you can raise your hand to answer. So, everybody take a turn. The question is, do you, great. Okay, Oscar, do you ever take the trams? Okay, I, I usually take a uh, taxi. Taxi. And have you taken the Citrams ever? No. Never. Okay. Never, never. Okay. Citrams and is only in San Salvador, right? Only San Salvador, yes. Only Soyapango to San Salvador and that's it. No more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anybody here in the chat, in the class, have you ever taken? The Citrans? Yes or no? Type in the chat, yes or no? No, okay, good. Never, uh-huh, no. No, good. So mostly it's a no. Do you have an opinion about Citrans? If it's good, necessary, useless, hot, fast, slow. What's your opinion about Citrums? Maybe it's modern, good. Okay, any other opinion? I need you to use an adjective for your opinion. Even though you haven't taken the Citrums, Maybe you have an opinion because of the newspaper and the news. Si tienen opinión, pongan un adjetivo. Slow, fast, safe, useless, useful. I'm going to use these two that maybe you need. Useless and useful. Useful. Check the chat if you need vocabulary. Oh, it fools. I'm missing one L, useful. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I want you to type an adjective for Citrams, an opinion. Useless for me, yes. Useless is like innecesario, not needed. Useful is útil, muy necesario. I think Citrams is useful, good one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you my opinion. For me, Citrams is too hot. I need a I need a fan or an air conditioner in here there. Too hot. Yes. No air conditioner, Oscar. It's terrible. It's too, when it worked, it was too full that in some occasion, people get sick because all the windows are closed and no air conditioner. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's see. William says, I don't take bus because I take another bus. The 108 to a peak. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Only one time, only in San Salvador. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, do you ever, uh, question number three, we're going to move to the question number three. Do you ever ride a bike or walk? Question number three. Now, raise your hand in the in the in the Zoom meeting if you have an answer. My question is, do you ever ride a bike or walk? Not to work, just for any situation. For example, I walk to the supermarket because it's two blocks away from my house. Yo camino al super porque está a dos cuadras. So, I walk. Mm -hmm. I usually walk off to work. Good. As an exercise, Janet? No. Um, I get uh -huh. to my home uh, part walking, part in Uber. Ah, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Only one way. I prefer to walk. Xiomara, good one. I walk and drive. Jenny, it's walk. I yes, want to be uh, sure. Walk is coming up. Yeah, walk. Yes, walk. Uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. W-A-L-K, mm -hmm. good one. I usually prefer ride a bicycle to the market. All right, William, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many of you ride bicycles? Do you ever ride a bicycle? Type yes or no, yes or no. No, yeah. Now, why not? I need an adjective, why not? Why don't you ride a bicycle? Never learn, okay, never learn to ride a bicycle, uh-huh. What else? Think about all the possibilities of your answers. I need to know why you don't ride a bicycle. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Disculpe, ¿cómo puedo decir por qué no puedo manejar bicicleta? Ah, uh, because I can't. I can't. I can't, yes, I'm going to type it in the chat so you have it uh, written. I can't ride a bike. I can't ride a bike. Because I can't, good one. I don't like, I cannot, good one. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't ride a bike because I don't have a bike. And I think it's dangerous. You know, I don't know, I, when I grew up, a uh, thief stole bicycles to teenagers. Cuando yo era adolescente, los, los, los ladrones se les robaban las bicis. Entonces me quedé con aquello, eso. I think it's dangerous. <laughs> okay, because I can ride a bicycle. Good one. Okay, can't. Yeah, when you have the ability uh, or no ability, we use the verb with can. I can. And I can't. Okay, with this one we show the ability. And then the following verb. Yeah, it was dangerous for me. <laughs> okay, all right, good one. Now, let's take some time. Before the speaking, I want you to see my uh, whiteboard. Let me see, where's the whiteboard? Okay, now we're talking about means of transportation and opinions. I'm going to give you a formula that we're going to be using today. That is basically something for simple present. Okay, when I use simple present, I use something very simple, something that is the subject, that is the person we're talking about. Class. Uh-huh. 
Verbi. Verbi. We're going to make a change. And that was uh -huh. the verb here. Compliments. It com um, some, some compliments. Sorry. That's your Compliment right. or compliment? Compliment. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going okay. to rewrite. Compliment. Okay. The verb here, it's something that we call base form. Simple present, it's for habits or daily routines. And going to work is a habit. I go to work every day, so it's a daily routine. When I have this situation, cuando cumplo estas condiciones, ocupo simple present in esa formula, subject, verb, base form, and complement. So I drive, wait, I drive to work. Okay. Or I walk to the market. Okay. Or I ride a motorcycle on weekends. Now I go to the beach and I prefer to use my motorcycle. So I have at the beginning all the time and the verb is base. No verb to be, no ing. And I'm going to explain why. We're going to see it later on. Lo vamos a ver más adelante. Uh, okay, Oscar, don't worry. Um, but that's, básicamente, si yo cumplo con estos requisitos, mi actividad es un hábito, o lo hago todos los días, no necesito ING. Okay? Solo el verbo base. Y el complemento. Como es simple present, casi siempre voy a decir um, con qué frecuencia lo hago. Puedo decir every day, or, como en este caso, on weekends. Okay. Now, let's see why. Antes de pasar a esto, para practicar un poquito, I'm going to show you why. Vamos a ver por qué. Porque eso nos va a ayudar mucho en la conversación de esta noche. Antes de pasar a la conversación, vamos a ver eso. If you see my camera, I have a visitor that is bugging me. <laughs> okay. Just let me move ahead. I'm going to show you why. It's a very good explanation. It's going to help us to understand. Nos va a ayudar bastante a entender qué estamos haciendo. It's one sec. I think the internet is giving us problem tonight. Un segundito. Ok, aquí estamos. Lo voy a explicar y van a ver por qué se hace esta diferencia y aquí sí necesito que tomen nota para que lo podamos ver. Uh, ¿Qué dice aquí? ¿Quién me puede ayudar a, decir, a leer esta parte de arriba, on the top? Water and oil. Water and oil. ¿Qué pasa si yo mezclo water and oil? No se mezclan. No se mezclan. Ok, en inglés tenemos eso. Hay cosas que no se van a mezclar, aunque en español las mezclamos y se oyen bien y no nos dan problemas. En inglés, we can't. Por ejemplo, nunca vamos a mezclar un don't, un no, en simple present, con un ing. Ok, ahí ya no dijimos nada. Ok. Ahora, ¿por qué? Simple present, que es lo que vamos a ver hoy, se compone por estos vocabularios acá. Simple present usa un verbo base, work, walk, drive, uh, ride, etc. Y a veces cuando hablo de he o she, ocupo la forma S. Entonces digo, he drives, he walks, he uh, takes. She goes. She walks. ¿Ok? Si necesito un auxiliar para hacer una pregunta o hacer un negativo, como lo vemos acá, ocupo do 
or does. Si es tercera persona digo, he doesn't work. He doesn't walk. ¿Ok? Lo que vemos hoy con Simple Present y los medios de transporte es que lo hago todos los días. Es un hábito, es un hecho, fact, algo real, algo del tiempo general del presente y algo permanente. Entonces, temprano alguien me decía que está trabajando para un abogado. Y cuando yo digo en español, está trabajando, estoy ocupando esta forma ING. En español, cuando yo digo estoy trabajando para un abogado, suena bien. En inglés no. En inglés me da la sensación de que es temporal. Pero la persona que me lo estaba diciendo tiene tres años de trabajar con el abogado. So, elimino el ING y ocupo I work. I work for a law office. Yo okay. trabajo por un abogado. Exacto. ¿Por qué? Vamos a dar la sensación de que es temporal si ocupo ING. Por eso hoy no vamos a usar verbo to be para la conversación, sino que solo nos vamos a quedar en formas básicas. I work, I walk, I drive. ¿Ok? Y vamos a dejar esas formas ING para cuando estamos hablando de algo en el momento. Por ejemplo, en este momento, she is walking. La puedo ver que está caminando. She is walking. Okay. ¿Lo hace todos los días? No sé. I don't care. Pero en este momento, she is walking. Solo lo voy a usar para cosas muy temporales. Entonces, cuando yo hablo de trabajo, por ejemplo, si yo de veras, yo solo voy a trabajar para la temporada navideña en Simán, yo puedo decir, I am working for Simán. ¿Por qué? Porque solo voy a trabajar ahorita en la temporada navideña y en enero me quedo sin trabajo. Me interesa porque la otra persona con la que estoy trabajando me puede conseguir un trabajo, ¿ya? Pero si yo le digo, I work for Simán, ¡ah! Entonces es permanente, ¡qué chivo! Tiene trabajo, that's nice, ¿no? Entonces, tengo como dos sentidos en la oración con solo cambiarle esto. Y si tengo ING, ya no necesito el don't, necesito verbo to be como alguien me decía más temprano, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a tener cuidado con esa forma. Ahorita nos vamos a quedar solo con Simple Present que ya lo vamos a estudiar más a profundidad. But first, we're going to talk. ¿Ok? Preguntas antes de continuar. Preguntas, preguntas. Vamos a tener una explicación rapidita. Bueno, para mí la verdad eso es nuevo, teacher. Porque uh -huh. ya he tomado algunos cursos, bueno, a medio un poco el inglés y eso nunca le he explicado el, el presente continuo así de esa forma que usted lo está explicando ajá es porque es como a veces eh, en gramática explicar es como como muy complicado porque para qué se usa right pero acá lo podemos ver bien eh, exacto con la parte del trabajo mi trabajo es permanente entonces ocupo simple present y si uh -huh. algo es temporal o, o por el, solo por el momento, en el momento que estoy hablando, ocupo present continuous o present progressive y ocupo verbo to be e ing. Y ahí la idea me queda clara. Ok. okay. Creo que muchos uh -huh. que saben inglés, pero esa, esa técnica o eso no, no lo saben. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know, but they know how to use it. Saben usarla. Yeah. Ok, pero why, why. Uh -huh. Por eso es que a veces cuando hablamos solo inglés con alguien, la otra persona como que no nos terminó de entender qué, qué fue lo que le dijimos y nos entendió otra cosa. Porque son esas pequeñas cositas que cambian el sentido. So, let's take advantage of the time. Y ahorita que ya platicamos un poquito de la, um, de la gramática, vamos a verla más eh, en detalle. Me queda un poquito tiempo y eso le va a ayudar mucho a desarrollar la actividad que tiene en la plataforma. Vamos a ver, vamos a cambiar otra vez. Esta segunda parte es simple present. Y aquí lo vemos. Concept and definition, regular verbs. Uh, let's see, I need some help here. Silvia Michelle, can you help me read the examples? Silvia? Hi, teacher. Tengo problemas con el internet. Me sacó y estoy entrando y saliendo. Ah, ok, ok. Don't worry. Yeah, if you can hear me, just read this paragraph. Regular verbs. Hola. Hola, me escucha. Hello. Hola, no. Hello. Hola, hello. 
¿Yes, Silvia? ¿Puede leer el párrafito? ¿Yes or no? No, creo que se le va el audio. Yes, yes. Ah, ok. Go ahead. Hola. Hola, Hola Michelle. Okay, Solo... birds? Uh -huh. I walk in the park on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I don't walk to work. Do you usually walk? Mm -hmm. Do you usually walk? Good. Do you usually work? Walk. Sorry, walk. Yes. Very good. So, if you see... Do you usually walk? Do you usually walk? If you see, empezamos con sujeto, their base form, Brown. and complement. Compliment. Exactly. Si lo hago negativo, ocupo don't. Negative. Mm -hmm. O oh, well, don't antes del verbo. I don't walk to work. Y aquí necesito que me pongan mucha atención para cuando eh, eh, lo, lo trabajen ustedes solitos en la plataforma. Con los negativos, siempre necesito ocupar el auxiliar que corresponde. Para simple present es el do. So, siempre digo, I don't walk. I don't drive. I don't ride. No ocupo solo no. En algunas ocasiones vamos a poder decir I have no o alguna combination special, but normally is I don't. Ese es mi negativo. Teacher, es el verbo base. Yes? Only those or that's it done too. Exactly. For third person, he, she, and it, vamos a ocupar third person. doesn't. Third person. Eh, third person, yes. Ahora, si hago la pregunta, se fijan, yo paso el auxiliar al principio. Auxiliar. Auxiliar plus a subject and complaint. Yeah, this is a special. Ahí le he puesto un usually para hacerlo un poquito más largo, pero normalmente es el auxiliar do, el subject you, el Millenia. verbo. Bueno, a ver, milenio. Mute, 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 mute. El nombre raro que le pasé. Mute. Tenías que notarte. Hello. Milenio. Ah, yes. Milenio. Let me see if I can mute here. I didn't have the option. That's weird. Uh, here it is. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Remember to mute yourself for a while if you're having, I mean, people in, in, in your space. Okay. Now, well, we were saying that. What are the other forms? When it's plural, they, you, we, we follow the same uh, formula. Don't worry about it. They take the bus to school. They don't take the subway. Do they ever walk to school? Siempre ocupamos verbo base. Nos quedamos con el don si es negativo, verbo base, y el do al principio si le hago la pregunta. O sea, me lo traigo como de por acá. Y sí, boom. Sure, siempre, yes. El do mm -hmm. solo es para present simple. Simple present. Exactly. Simple present only. Oh. Solo para eso. Uh -huh. okay. De hecho, no lo traduzco. Okay? Okay. De hecho, yo no traduzco el do. Cuando yo pregunto, do they ever walk to school? ¿Ellos eh, caminan alguna vez para el colegio, para la escuela? ¿Ellos caminan alguna vez para la escuela? Yes. ¿Se fijan? No traduzco el do. Solo me sirve para ubicarme que es presente. Y punto. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes they, I do. Yes, they do. Uh -huh. Yes, they do, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿no? Exactly. Y vamos con eh, la tercera persona, lo que me preguntaban. ¿Qué puede ser si es doesn't? Es cuando es he or she. Y aquí yeah. sí cambio el verbo. It? Pongo ese, it. Si es animal o cosa o país o situación, le pongo la s. Uh -huh. Y el negativo le pongo doesn't. Y le quito la s. ¿Por qué le quito la s? Porque ya tengo la s acá. Yes, does. Ok. Y si hago la pregunta, igual me lo traigo imaginativamente de acá. I imagine that I take it from here and put it at the beginning. Does she work alone? Okay. ¿Para cuándo voy a usar estas formas? Habitual activities. Algo que hago todos los días, o una tradición, una rutina. Okay. Simple present. Simple present, exactly. Una pregunta. Ajá, uh -huh, Si es en negativo, ya no se lo pone la S en el verbo. Ya no, no se le pone la S porque ya la tienen el doesn't. doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Y eso nos va a ayudar mucho para no repetir conceptos. Si yo ya en mi auxiliar estoy diciendo lo que quiero decir, que aquí quiero decir que es presente y tercera persona, ya no necesito repetirlo. Ya lo dije acá. Okay. Ellos no trabajan en 
the, really she doesn't uh -huh, she doesn't walk walk work I'm sorry she doesn't work at the mall she works at an office what do you mean in mall teacher uh metro centro galerias oh. mm -hmm. centro comercial yes that's the mall okay now let's see Forma base es la que a veces la llaman algunos profesores como infinitiva, pero sin el tú, ¿ok? Es el verbo, algunos que decimos que es el presente, esa es la forma base, la que no lleva nada, ¿ok? No lleva ING, no lleva pasado, no lleva nadita, ¿ok? Es como una masita que después yo la voy a poner donde a mí me, 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 me salga bien. Y esta es la primera forma en que la voy a usar. Y la forma S es para tercera persona, he, she, and it, ¿ok? Estas dos formas únicamente por ahora las voy a usar en hábitos. ¿Qué son hábitos? Algo que hago todos los días. I drink coffee every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Traditions. Uh -huh. I eat turkey on Christmas. Yes. Take I a, eat, mm -hmm. take a shower. I take a shower. Daily routine, I take a shower. I brush my teeth. Facts. I have a son. El have lo voy a usar en presente y si es ella, she has. Ok, she has a pencil. El, el, uh -huh. Only third person. Only third person, yes. Okay. Si soy yo o plural, I have, we have, you have. Pero si es una persona, she has. He has. Yes. Mm -hmm. He has. It has. Que son cosas del presente general. Cosas que son reales. Que no las estoy haciendo en este momento necesariamente, pero que son la verdad de lo que yo soy o de lo que yo tengo o de lo que yo hago. ¿Ok? Que lo que veíamos que no se mezcla. Ok. Now, ahora hablamos un poquito del vocabulario de medios de transporte. Eh, un poquito de las opiniones del medio de transporte y un poquito de gramática de simple present. Entonces, ahorita, yo sé que nos queda poquito tiempo, cinco minutos apenas. Me gustaría que eh, cada uno tomara turno y me hablara de lo que hace todos los días. Vamos a dejar de compartir para ver las cámaras. Let's see the cam. Ok, good. Let's see. Erika, tell me something about yourself. Podemos usar simple present y podemos usar actividades del trabajo de la casa. Right? Erika? Teacher, no, no podría contestar en inglés, la verdad. Why not? Tratemos. What do you do? ¿Qué haces? What's your profession? I am ama de casa. <laughs> Housewife. 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 Okay. What time do you get up in the morning? Oh, what time do you get up? Um, seven o'clock. I get up at seven o'clock. Repeat. I get up seven o'clock. I get up at seven o'clock. Okay. Um, do you cook? Do you cook? Sandwich, pupusas, pizza. Pasta? No, no, no. You don't cook? No, no, the same. No, cook. Cook. Cocinar. Yes. Uh-huh. Pupusas uh -huh. casi todas las noches. <laughs> really? That's nice. So you can make pupusas. Yes? I make pupusas. Mm -hmm. I make pupusas. I make pupusas. Excellent. Good. You see? You can. Uh, let's see. Do you have children? Boys and yes. girls, do you have children? How many children do you have? Children, sorry. How many children do you have? Uno. Only one. 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 Is a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Mm -hmm. Tiene eight years. He is eight. He is eight. 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 Yes. Okay, so I had here, let's see the chat. I get up every day at 5 a.m. after teeth. Ah, switch, uh, William. I brush my teeth. Brush after, my teeth, okay. I brush my teeth after take my breakfast at 7, so on and so forth. Okay, Oscar, you had uh, your hand up. 
Tell me something okay. about your activities. Yes, I usually wake up at six o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. around, and I I work in a farm park, farm park, mm -hmm. and um I am a waiter. Waiter, good. Okay, waiter. good. Okay, what time do you start working? A que hora four o'clock. Four, four o'clock. Oh, four okay. o'clock. Good one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Before finishing, one more. Vanessa, tell me something about your daily routines. What do you do? Um, get up at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. I um, eat breakfast eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Um. How, how do you say what? Independiente. No, ah, I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. I am sorry. No, I am sorry. Um, I make the Excellent. Good one. I make dinner. Good one. Yes. So I would like you to go ahead in the platform and review the material. Tomorrow we're going to have a review about this topic to practice. So, necesito que vayan a la plataforma, que realicen las actividades. Ahorita tenemos las primeras dos lecciones. Ok. Y Teacher, como una actividad. Ajá. Uh -huh, go ahead. Tengo una duda. Fíjese que yo intenté entrar a la plataforma pero siempre me da el curso 1 no, no me da el nuevo curso que estamos ahorita ok lo voy a informar para que lo actualicen seguramente no lo han uh, no, no, actualizado. actualizado ok good one ok Ahora. Miss, uh -huh. perdón eh, yo intenté adelantar un poco en la plataforma porque de repente en la semana no me queda como mucho tiempo pero en el knowledge check 1.10 eh, empecé a hacer como a resolver, a formar las oraciones, las preguntas que, que, que pide ahí, uh -huh. pero me da error siempre en todas y considero que sí las he hecho bien, pero siempre me dan error. Verifiqué si habían puntos faltantes, si habían espacios sobrantes y todo y siempre me da error. Ok, I'm going to check tonight y así lo resolvemos mañana con IT, ok, con IT. Good one. Ok, les invito a que busquen actividades diarias, ok, para que podamos seguir con la actividad mañana y podamos hablar todos sobre qué hacemos, daily routines, así como I brush my teeth, I make, I make dinner, bla, 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 pensemos qué hacemos en la casa, qué hacemos de actividades que nos gustan, qué hacemos en el trabajo, unas cuantas frases que podamos armar para sobre eso trabajar un poquito mañana, ok. Ok, cualquier okay. cosa, si encuentran errores como los que me menciona Janet y los que me menciona William y también el programa que tuvo Michelle, déjenmelo en el chat, ok, para tratar de resolverlo durante el día de mañana, ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, thank you so much. Okay, Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.